But when, I, when the Chinese politicians are involved potentially in trade or whatever, I think it's because they're spies. Yeah, and they're doing it for the love of fried rice. That's why. Like, honestly, anybody who tries to be like, yeah, I know they're a spy. It's like, wait, how do you know that they're a spy? Then they're a horrible spy. If you can tell that they're a spy. Prominent Chinese American politicians are having their loyalty question right now. But is it just part of this large mud slinging, ugly political game? Or do people really not trust anybody of Chinese descent. Oh man, this is going viral right now. We're talking about like thousands and thousands of comments on a bunch of different platforms, Andrew. Long story short, this guy right here, Lance Gooden was like, man, Judy Chu, if you do not support our investigation of Dominic Ng, even though Biden said he was cool, I don't trust you. And then you got a whole team of Democrats that look like you, a bunch of Asians, and I don't trust them either, even Ooh. though they weren't even all Chinese. And this just exploded, obviously, because the left was like, dude, what? This is like so racist. This is, what is this, 1930, 1950? And the rap was like, no, I don't trust you. There's a lot of questions in my mind about your loyalties. And of course, it exploded on the internet. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, Andrew. We got to get into it, Andrew. The first <laughs> comment was generally like, dude, this is so racist. Judy Chu is a third generation Chinese American on her father's side. Her grandfather fought in World War II supporting America. And then obviously, how come we're just always perpetual foreigners in this country? Well, dude, if Judy Chu is compromised, I'm going to tell you this, man. China's already taken over. Like, China's already infiltrated. If Judy Chu is compromised, man, I, I think she's she's good money, man. And I think a lot of people don't question a lot of other people in the Republican Party. Like, I think people on both sides, Democrats and Republicans, are benefiting a lot from China and have a lot of business ties. This is a fact. Well, because a lot of, to be honest, a lot of Congress people and senators, they do big business. Yeah. They like, a lot of them business. are really rich. And if you're really rich, that means you probably do international trade with China, to be honest. Yeah. Do you want to just investigate every Chinese looking person or what about like the billionaires but there's know. something about the billionaires that are wide when they do the business with china it puts me at ease because i know it's just about money they're they're just trading for money that ain't nothing else going on but when i when the chinese politicians are involved potentially in trade or whatever i think it's because they're spies yeah and they're doing it for the love of fried rice that's why yeah, I'm more of a General Souls guy myself. Or, you know, I, I only like the Americanized Chinese dishes, like the Louisiana chicken and the almond chicken. Uh, somebody else said, hey, guys, a white dude from Texas accused the Chinese American of spying. I'm shocked. Because Ooh. I guess, of course, Andrew Lance Gooden, uh, you know, from his area, that's just something that a lot of old school white Texans would believe, right? Um, other people were like, uh, what about Elaine Chow? She's the real conflict of interest here. Trump said it. And I said, oh, man, this is interesting. Because it's like, that's a, a politician on the Republican side. And she's still having her loyalties question. And then Judy's having her <laughs> loyalties question for supporting Dominic. I, I don't know what's going on. Man, question all Chinese women, man. Damn. I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I, I can't say because I don't know the truth. But I think that this is a lot of ugly mudsling. First of all, I think Elaine Chow's family does benefit from a, uh, working with China a lot. More than Judy Chu's family does, to be yeah. honest. So but does that also, is that a violation? I don't know. They're just yeah, doing but, trade, right? But then, like, I think they vetted her and decided that she was cool, too. So I guess, what, is the Republican side just asking, like, hey, can you vet these people? Can you take a look, guys? Well, I need to check them out. Uh, we just don't want another Fang Fang situation since all the Chinese women is so... um appealing you know <laughs> make us open up the box of secrets uh somebody said uh hey you know you guys on the right are the true disloyal ones by wanting another civil war in january 6th obviously uh referring to majory green's comments about like splitting up america and then of course lance gooden the guy who's talking down on judy chu he supported the insurrection you know i don't know if anybody's watching right now that has been to the south of america but uh we took a couple trips there and i will tell you this man they still refer to the civil war as the war of northern aggression. The older folks. Yeah, yeah. the older folks. Not all of people, right? I mean, not even most people. But some people still do. And those people essentially, like, did not give up. Like, they, they're still fighting the Civil War. Like, it's kind of weird, guys. So, yeah, there's some of these people that are still left. No, it's real. It's real. When we were filming our TV show down there, we came across a few of them. Obviously, not even a majority, but it's there around. Somebody said uh, this was kind of a bipartisan side. Just like, dude, 
it was crazy to see America just devolve into this like mudslinging playground. Yeah. Like we used to be civil to each other. We used to agree to disagree. And now it just seems like we're just trying to rip each other down using half truths or quarter truths and just stuff that we don't even care about. Anything we could do to win, we'd, we'll eye gouge the other side just to win. Yeah, it's getting really ugly. And I just feel like these are political games that like uh, are being used just to swing votes or just amongst themselves maybe like the regular citizens were not ever supposed but, to see this or maybe it is just to energize the base and it's not even rooted in like fact you know what i mean it's like there's no fact behind it but it, they did they know that it's going to energize the voters to get more money and get more engagement well because the lance gooden did say this stuff on tv i think so obviously he's trying to put on a show and trying to ignite the right wing voters that are against anything chinese right now so really he was Kind of just doing it for show. Are they even really going to investigate? And then what's going to happen after they investigate and find nothing? So I guess, I don't know. Um, even some like middle right people, Andrew, or like moderate Republicans kind of were like 50-50, kind of not, not really going against Lance Gooden, but they were like, bro, you might be going overboard here, man. Because uh, if we find some or something really sticks out, then I'm okay with the investigating. But uh, if there's nothing going on, we can't just be mean to them because they're Chinese. So even some people on the middle right were kind of like, uh, I don't know, I'm 50-50 on this one. And then, uh, of course, somebody was like, man, damn, Democrats always outraged about something, always blaming the race card, saying it's racist. What if, just, what if we just think they're untrustworthy because of their connection to China and their connection to China just happens to be how they look? What's wrong about that? Show the connection to China. Yeah, I have the connection to China. Look at this photo. And look at this photo. They are clearly connected to the bloodlines of the Han Chinese. <laughs> Back to the left, Andrew. Somebody said, uh, nobody's getting World War II Japanese internment vibes here. Yeah, it is kind of weird for sure. There is. Someone said, uh, how come whites are the only ones who get to decide who's a true American or not? And it's always like somebody from a really like red state. Huh? Yeah. That's, they, man, they've, they, they've always been deciding. Someone said, uh, nah, it's because we got the fang fangs. And like we said, we got all the infiltration with the sweet honey traps and the hot Chinese women. They've been making people open up the secret books. And I just feel like the Chinese Americans, they're more loyal to China than they are America. And last but not least, Andrew, there was a comment that was like, yep, that's what you Asians get for always thinking you guys were white. <laughs> Now, and how does it feel now, huh? You guys aren't liked by the white people too much. <laughs> That's a cold one. But uh, at the end of the day, those were some of the major perspectives being represented. My first major takeaway, Andrew, is that I think that ultimately the truth is Dominant Ng and Elaine Chow, both one on the left, one on the right, are probably both cool. They're probably, I mean, I don't know, you know, but I think if they really were like truly spies for china it would have been found out by now yeah yeah i mean spies is a pretty big accusation guys that's a pretty huge accusation and it's a lot i, I feel like the spy stuff a lot of like regular citizens don't understand like honestly anybody who tries to be like yeah i know they're a spy it's like wait how do you know that they're a spy then they're a horrible spy if you can tell that they're a spy Right, <laughs> like, you a regular uh, person? Okay, I will say this though, Andrew. If I put my America hat on, think, imagine my hat right now. This is my America. Instead of a wake, it says a, yeah, America. Yeah, it just says America, right? Uh, I can see why I would think that the way I do because. Dominic Ng has shaken hands and eaten lots of things at tables with lots of people. He has drinking by Jill while eating quail heads, probably with some people who was card carrying members of the ccp at some point in his life so that makes me question him because i never had quail i never been to guangzhou so with my america hat on you just shook hands with a lot of people that i would never shake hands with or bow or whatever y'all do so i don't trust you yeah yeah i mean I, I think it really boils down to votes man i think everybody's trying to ignite their base and i think that this is why the current voting system in the binary uh, left and right binary that we have is just so dangerous because you're just trying to appeal to the to the most extreme 15%, man. We got to somehow tone things down what do you, so that people can be more rational. What do you think about the point right now where the left was like, uh, yo, man, where are all the Chinese conservatives? They're real quiet on this issue. And I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, this is probably something they don't really love, but they're probably like, yeah, but ultimately I still more support the right even though I don't like this aspect of the right. 
Yeah, I feel- And it's sort of like, you know, people who vote left, they don't necessarily like, like enjoy every aspect or every politician on the left either, right? But like you said, Andrew, it's a one-two binary. Man, being Chinese is weird right now, guys. And we're going to keep talking about it on the channel. But whether you're a Chinese person from China or you're a Chinese person that was born in China, raised here, you're a Chinese person that was born and raised in America, you're a Chinese person that's second, third generation in America, no matter what, man, you're going to get woven into this conversation sometimes. And like Judy Chu, you know, like a part of her family has been in America for 100 years. Right? Yeah. So it's crazy. Let us know what you think in the comment section below, guys. I think that, you know, it's really interesting time right now. Let us know what you think of this whole Lance Gooden versus Judy Chu thing. And uh, until next time, we'd hop out, boys. We out. Peace. Peace.